And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Coronasaurus. So we've noticed a lot of people lately dressing as dinosaurs and calling themselves Coronasaurus. And Coronasaurus is a real dinosaur and actually has nothing to do with coronavirus or COVID-19. I should say it's Coronosaurus. If it was Coronasaurus, it would be Coronasaura, probably. Oh. Uh, because that'd be the feminine version. Good point. So Coronosaurus was a centrosaurine ceratopsian, lots of ceratopsians in this episode, that lived in the late Cretaceous and what's now Alberta, Canada, in the Oldman Formation. It was described in 2005, first as Centrosaurus brinkmani by Michael Ryan and Anthony Russell. And then in 2012, it was named Coronosaurus brinkmani by Michael Ryan, David Evans, and Kieran Shepard. It looks like it was slightly older than Styracosaurus, too but it was also really close in age to the dinosaurs we were talking about earlier. So the genus name means crowned lizard, and corona is Latin for crown. And it's named because of the crown-like shape of the horns on its frill, but Michael Ryan also said that he thought the hook clusters that were on the frill looked like the corona of the sun. That's the outermost part of the sun's atmosphere, and you can see it during a total solar eclipse, and it looks wispy. Astronomers can also see it using coronagraphs, which are telescopes that block out direct sunlight from a star so you can see the things close to it. Yeah, coronavirus is named after the sun's corona part two, because if you look at it under certain microscopes, it has a sort of hazy appearance around the edges of it, just like the sun does if you're using the right techniques. So that's the only thing the two have in common. The only thing. The Latin for corona which relates to the sun or a crown. Yes. <laughs> Other than that, there's no relation. <laughs> so back to Coronosaurus and its crown-like shape of the horns on its frill. That's unique because most ceratopsians have individual horns or spikes on their frills, but Coronosaurus has a cluster. So it had a large frill and many horns on its head. It had brow horns over the eyes, a large nasal horn, and some spikes or ossifications on the frill that look like a crown. And these ossifications are two clusters of curved hooks, some point forward and some point backwards. This may have been for display. Several specimens have been found, and younger Coronosaurus developed short spikes that fused into the clusters as it aged. Coronosaurus was medium-sized and estimated to be about 16 feet or 5 meters long and weigh about 2 tons. Phil Curry found the fossils in two bone beds between 1996 and 2000. The type and only species is Coronosaurus brinkmani, and the species name refers to Donald Brinkman for his research in paleoecology in Alberta, in late Cretaceous environments. Michael Ryan was a grad student when he first described Coronosaurus, when he described it as Centrosaurus brinkmani, and he said in an Ottawa Citizen article, quote, My fellow graduate students used to tease me by calling it broccoli ceratops. <laughs> I have to say there was about 30 seconds when I actually considered calling it a broccoli ceratops. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. He also said in 2005, it, quote, appears indistinguishable from Centrosaurus apertus in all aspects of its anatomy, except for differences in its cranial ornamentation, the nasal, parietal, and postorbital horn cores. Yeah, that makes sense. Those are the main differences. It's all the ornamentation in these ceratopsians. Their bodies are all kind of similar, sort of like hadrosaurs, <laughs> just sort of generic herbivore body plus crazy head. <laughs> So the change to Coronasaurus in 2012 was based on a 2011 phylogenetic analysis that added new characters to the mix. So the result was Centrosaurus brinkmani and Centrosaurus apertus were no longer considered to be sister taxon, so then Centrosaurus brinkmani became Coronasaurus brinkmani. Uh, Michael Ryan, actually, we just heard, also recently named the Ceratopsian Stellosaurus because of the star-shaped fringe. All these star-based names that he's coming up with. Well, not just that. So in the Ottawa Citizen article, Jordan Mallon said, quote, it's funny because Michael is not a beer drinker, and yet he has named two dinosaurs after beers. I know Corona. What's the other one? Stella. Oh, Stella. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think about that. Coronasaurus probably lived on a coastal plain, and other dinosaurs that lived around the same place and time include the theropods, Sornitholestes, Displetosaurus, Troodon, Dromaeosaurus, and Hesperonychus, also ceratopsids such as Alberta ceratops, Chasmosaurus, and Anchiceratops, hadrosaurids like Brachylophosaurus, Gryposaurus, Parasaurolophus, and Carithosaurus, the Thessalosaurid Alberta Dromaeus, and the Ankylosaurid Scolosaurus. 
You can see a partial skull of Coronosaurus at the Royal Tyrol Museum. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash I know dino or click the link on the left.